Oh. God, I've been asleep for an entire year. Must have missed loads of Doki Doki episodes. Oh well, best get up and blag it. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, <laughs> not really. I chose not to bring up anything the three of us had talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Reggae, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today? Uh, I, I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you. You gave me that book after all. I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Oh, I love that. Don't think about her so much. Yuri, I am only thinking about Natsuki to try and protect you. You know? You know what I mean? I know what I mean, at the very least. She's used to being ignored. Hmm, charming. Come on, we're going over there. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I was gonna turn out much worse than it did. Just a transition. What's the story about anyway? Wow. Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Or the book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story. I'm not sure about that. Ah, are you not a fan of this sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I definitely enjoy those kinds of stories. I hope so. I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Bad things happen because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Yeah. Then suddenly... Oh. I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah, I guess you are. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... My whole body gets incredibly what? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm not fast enough reader for this. Are you taking the mic, mate? You're the one who's just skipped through all this flipping dialogue. What, expecting me to come back and ad lib it at the speed of light? You know, I feel like Rufus Hound. Like, I've woken up on the same day. I'm doing the same things. But something slightly different is happening. And I feel like Dr. Moo Ha 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 is going to jump out the closet. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It is a literature club after all. Ah, oh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm not cut out for this. That was such a manly scream, wasn't it? Who wouldn't want a man like this who goes, ah! <laughs> I'm like the Vikings from Sorry I've Got No Heads. <laughs> I quickly retrieve the book that I put into my bag. Right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to Yuri's. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to. It's just it's something that I'm not very used to. Th that is reading in the company of someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or something. All right. I open the book and start reading the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little bit distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually looking at her book. Looks like she's reading a my book instead. Oh, sorry, I was just... having a nice old time. No, I, I saw that game. That's rude. I mean, you know, obviously Yuri has always been the one for me. Until I got Siori killed. Now I sort of have this kind of outlook of... What the heck is this game doing to me?